So that's Getty Lee from Rush. My favorite headache. I really like that song. Um, that sounds a lot like Primus. It's from his 2000 solo album. And it's the title track. That sounds like a really good like mix of Rush and Primus. Like I, I know that they've toured together a little bit and they're friends. So I wonder if Getty Lee was listening to some Primus at this time and was like, you know what? I'm going to lean into that. But I think that's just, uh, I just heard that song recently. Love it. But if you haven't heard Rush, you probably maybe heard Rush. They're pretty popular. Today's Tom Sawyer, mean, mean guy. No. Living in the limelight, the universal dream. No. Closer to the heart. They're very good. Vinny, did you know Sean Connery passed away? Yeah. I mean, speaking as, like, someone who is always kind of asked for a comment on, like, a famous person's passing, uh, my default comment is, it's always shitty when someone that you've grown up watching on TV or movies passes away. Sean Connery, I don't know anything about the dude privately, but I liked him as James Bond. He was my favorite Bond. Um, I mean, Indiana Jones and the, you know, Last Crusade, which might be, I think, probably my favorite role of his. He just was perfect as Indy's father. And um, there's a lot of good movies that he was in. Zardoz, definitely not one of them. He was wearing a red diaper. That'll be his legacy, I think. Red diaper Zardoz. But yeah, it sucks. I mean, he was 90. Um, passed away in Hawaii. So, yeah, I mean, really, again, as an actor, it just, he's a dude that was good in a lot of movies. He lived a long life. And someone was like, Vinny, um, in regards to the Immortal Phoenix Rising game, they were confused because they thought I said the game looked bad. I don't think it looks bad. I think it's just a very similar style to Breath of the Wild, obviously. Uh, well, similar. Is there a better word for similar? Like, a little bit more strong of a word? I don't know. I want to see if it's any good before I end up buying it. I just think the name is terrible. It was called Gods and Monsters. We've talked about this plenty on stream. Some rumors that Monster Energy <laughs> had them change it. Or, like, you know, you can't say gods in certain countries. But it went from, I think, a pretty strong title to a generic mobile game title. And I'm very curious to see if it's going to be any good, but it looks pretty good. It's just, you know, it's Ubisoft. So, you you know, you might get more of the same Ubi kind of stuff. Breath light. Yeah, it's a breath like. Exactly. And I'm okay with Breath of the Wild influencing games because I love Breath of the Wild and I feel like it was definitely one of my favorite games of the past couple years and I like the way it was so open-ended. I enjoyed the way the world reacted to everything you did. You could find different ways to solve puzzles and combat encounters. Problem is, you know, there was some lacking story and the dungeons weren't really great and the sense of progression um, it was there but not in the sense of like, it, you, know, you get all your skills in the beginning. So I'm curious to see what other games could do with that formula to take it farther, but still give you the freedom to approach the game in whatever way you want. So I think the influence from Breath of the Wild is a good thing, and I would like to see more games do that, especially the climbing mechanic minus the rain mechanic. Uh, but will these games be good? Will Immortal Phoenix Rising be good? I don't know. Let's play World of Horror. You know, let's escape the world and enter the world of horror. <laughs> 